Here are the settings you need to make sure are enabled to make sure that your Zebra can properly interact with the Finale Inventory application. So you need to go to the zconfig. You need to look at the data wedge. In the data wedge, you need to have at least one profile. I'm using the launcher profile here, for example. In the launcher profile, make sure that you have the profile enabled. Look in your applications and associated applications. Make sure Finale Inventory has been added with the asterisk. You can use the three dots up here to add it, but make sure it is added. The next area you need to be concerned with is making sure that the barcode is input is enabled. So make sure barcode input is enabled. After you've done that, scroll on down. And the next section you want to make sure is turned on is the keystroke output that needs to be enabled. If you have the keystroke output enabled, make sure you go to key event options. And in here, you need to make sure that you send keys, at, send characters as events. And you might want to turn on send control characters as events too. I'm going to scroll further on down in the keystroke output section, then you want to make sure that you go to the basic data formatting in that section. And so make sure that that's enabled, make sure you have the send data, and you also have the send enter key enabled. And then make sure that the intent output is not enabled. And that should set you up um, in a way that the scanner should per should work with the finale inventory app.